and genomics together and then how things will go ahead and uh, so why omics and where you can do omics so not suppose you have normal cell and you have a cancer cell so what we do normally we look if you're looking for mutations uh, that too in uh, mutation in gene uh, region or uh, protein coding mutation you go for whole exome sequencing then if your question is re revolving around the gene and also in inter in intergenic region you do dna seq or whole genome sequencing and whole genome sequencing in principle will cover both uh, 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 the non coding on an exome seq and then if your your research question is uh, is asking how uh, transcript or gene expression vary from a healthy to uh, say cancerous uh, cell, normal cell to cancer cell. And then uh, many times you are also doing proteomics experiment to see the protein expression. So, and results of these three vary a bit. And then sometime it cannot conclude from one more uh, by single method. So you combine all of these methods to convey the, your story or convey the find the, um, for to, uh, to gauge the actual cause of disorder. And so there, that where we had discussed last week in detail. And then we also discussed that genome size, human genome size is through about 3 GB or 3.4 uh, 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 GB, depending on which genome size you are considering, uh, version you are taking on. And only fraction of it is exome, protein coding, transcriptome. Exome will be bigger than uh, protein coding because exome is also carrying the Three prime, five prime, non-translator regions, which is a shortly called UTR, and then transcriptome will be slightly bigger because the, each one gene have maybe more than one transcript, and therefore, uh, if you take the overall transcript size of human genome, it will be almost double of uh, exome because the multiple transcripts per gene uh, is now very common, and then also there are a lot of non-coding RNA. So, uh, and then we again discussed about the genome size and if you see see the chromosome and the red cup bars, you see the exomes are a fraction of it, a, a, approximately one or two percent of whole genome is exome. So, uh, that's what is clear in the green, very small green bars. And then we discussed how gene, gene should look like and how gene structure should look like. And probably you are familiar with the gene will start with three prime five uh, has three prime five prime UTR in the uh, upstream and downstream and then AT, with ATG it will start and with a stop codon it will stop and it has a clear signal for intron uh, to splice out uh, which is GT splice donor and acceptor and uh, so why we study genome and why annotate genome or why do blast is that because we want to see what is inside a genome and uh, how uh, gene geno uh, uh, genome could easily tell me uh, or tell us the functional implication of protein or set of proteins or set of non-coding region and therefore we need to have a better and better genome annotation and uh, yeah so we already know how to use the blast we have to already discuss once more and uh, then we had th this we had done the we had made the alignment beautify it in gendoc we are knowing that already and uh, then we also discussed that how why naming properly is important in terms of this phylogenetic tree and then we assign a task that you sequenced about 10 genes or 10 proteins um, not sequenced but to um, uh, download it and uh, try to build the phylogenetic tree and then there was a clear-cut motive we wanted to see whether the motives are present showing by web logo or by uh, by sequence alignment and then we draw a larger tree and those trees we, we have constructed multiple tools and then if you do not have uh, computational resources yet you can do by uh, online alignment in muscle and then use bioNG from phylogenetic FR and then build the tree which will look more or less same as the other trees and then there was motive building uh, we tried again and again 
and different parameters with different sequences and these two i'll just skip but today what i told you uh, that you should look we should look into coronavirus because the coronavirus is no pandemic that means no no no, uh, no part of the world is uh, safe from the infection and everything is closed just now i saw that my office will not even open next 15 days uh, without even uh, we don't have to bother of going there so uh, how did coronavirus come so coronavirus act was actually found in uh, bats and that was transmitted to from bat to the uh, to the anteater and anteater and bat both are in china are considered to be a uh, exotic food a uh, very expensive exotic food and many chinese were trying it and then from there that from that market it just actually indeed has spread there are a lot of a uh, lot of other theories but this is uh, this is what the world believe that this is from the market where the anteater and bat was sold there from there uh, virus uh, first came into the contact of human and then it just spread because we are now globally mobile so we, last month i was in germany and i was also traveling in germany and i came back here very often we are going and coming back um, and uh, so uh, traveling uh, will be uh, traveling will be very very uh, critical for human life due to global economy uh, in a such a way that be many people from bangalore going to abroad and then they are meeting infected people and bringing it back here and you are already aware of that and then uh, coronavirus uh, why they are cro- called coronavirus because they they have a cor- uh, shell cron yeah, the yellow portion or red portion of the slide the corona like and why they are they are critical because this um, architecture on a ball is actually the it's like a spike which will get in our um, respiratory system and where in the internal respiratory tract the virus will get attached to the inner wall and can stay for and cause the cause uh, disorder but uh, corona uh, in fact cause the infection actually and infection is uh, what i learned and what others are saying in italy and other country of china and all if somebody has corona virus infection and plus they have any of disorder of uh, out of three uh, cardiovascular hypertension and diabetics either either of uh, two if you have there is no question that the person will survive so uh, th- those who are and this is predominantly um, um, aging aging related disorders and therefore one has to be really careful when somebody has this uh, has the any of their disorder uh pre existing conditions so in m- m- vast majority of italian who died were having this uh, uh, this infection so and uh, my my uh, my former colleague um, uh, is working in a milan hospital and they said that they from from last 21 days they even do not go to sleep there as a doctor so doctors uh, uh hardly get sleep maybe 2 hours 3 hours a night because is uh, city to city their town to town their uh, people are dying and so they have a medical emergency like a war like situation so the corona virus is crit- crit- critically at this junction of life to understand and it's rapidly coming in india so we have to deal with it so the, the process of the replication in yeah. corona viruses what happened uh, how it get replicated in body by the by the process process names like no so it will integrate into the our body no so the, the virus will uh, replicate by uh, no, how normally viruses are viruses will integrate into our genome and then replicate and then when they come they when they want to go out they will uh, go out as rna molecule mm-hmm. so it's like transduction or something like that rt uh, reverse transcription no? okay okay fine fine so the viruses are in general uh, classified into seven classes 
class 1 is double stranded dna single stranded dna uh, dna and which can convert into double stranded dna and this classification was proposed by baltimore and then double stranded uh, rna single stranded plus strand rna and this category belongs to the coronavirus as well and then minus strand uh, rna and uh, single strand rt uh, uh, reverse transcriptase and single uh, double strand dna reverse transcriptase so these are class of the viruses based on the uh, nucleic acid uh, type uh, they possess and then uh, coronavirus uh, uh, let me go then uh, the genome size of the viruses uh, are uh, given here and so cor corona viruses will be having a genome of some kbs uh, 27 kbs or so and uh, at this junction i want to know i ask you guys to check whether the corona what is the size of genome of coronavirus and also check how many genes are there did you or proteins are there did you check try to check it Okay, so I I'm not sure whether you're listening or not. Everybody's there inside. A T T N adenine tri triphosphate. It seems the genes which involved A T T sir actually. Okay, so no, I'm asking how many genes are there or how many proteins oh. are there in coronavirus okay. in total. Okay, so in okay. total there are. 12 gene uh, 12 gene or 12 protein uh, okay. sometime they are saying 14 but it's just just like on the average 12 plus minus 2 yeah so uh, genes are there in the genome and since the genome is really small and mm -hmm. there are 12 proteins and all these proteins and all the information is publicly available now uh, for anybody to analyze okay. so uh, so uh, and of course the virus is can have a smaller genome and can have a larger genome like herpes virus or uh, pox viruses and by and large they are from 2 kb to 27 kb okay so let's go here okay 